Good evening. It's great to have you with us as we start another week together here. And we begin tonight with several fast-moving headlines involving the coronavirus here in the U.S. There is a glimmer of hope tonight. The promising results so far involving a vaccine from Oxford University showing a double defense, creating antibodies that researchers say neutralize the virus and prevent it from spreading within the body. And then T-cells, white blood cells, attacking the virus next one of 23 vaccines in human trials. So what is the timeline from here? We'll get into that in a moment. And of course, the numbers tonight. The coronavirus has now claimed nearly 141,000 lives in the U.S. Cases are rising in 40 states tonight. Florida remains the epicenter. More than 10,000 cases there for a sixth day in a row. That long line of cars waiting for tests in Miami-Dade County. The governor was shouted down at his news conference today. Protesters shouting shame on you for his response. Texas with more than 7,000 new cases and 62 more deaths today. And of course, the debate over sending children back to school in this country. One governor who is opening schools under fire for saying if children get it, they'll go home and get over it. We will carefully get to it all again tonight, and we begin with new promise in that vaccine trial. And Tom Yamas leads us off. Tonight, with more than 14 million cases of COVID-19 around the globe, a potential breakthrough in the race to develop the first vaccine. A new study published in The Lancet finding the experimental Oxford vaccine, one of 23 vaccines currently in human trials, appears safe and activates the immune system to respond to the virus. It's both arms of the immune system and we think that gives us our best chance of getting good protection. More than 1,000 volunteers between 18 and 55 years old participating in the Oxford University study. I don't want to be sitting down not doing anything where I could potentially help out as well. This vaccine is vital to be able to return to normalcy. The study finds the vaccine produces a double defense, antibodies that neutralize the virus and prevent it from spreading within the body, and T cells, white blood cells that attack the virus. Right now, the vaccine in phase three trials on track to be the first to be widely produced. The U.S. government investing $1.2 billion in the Oxford vaccine developed by AstraZeneca, ordering 300 million doses. But even if it's proven effective to protect against the coronavirus, doctors warn for it to work, people need to be willing to get it. Everything about this pandemic has become politicized. Do you see the vaccine becoming politicized? I'm hoping that political leaders across the entire political aisle not turn this into a you know, red state or a blue state issue. The study finding limited side effects, especially when volunteers took acetaminophen. And with no signs of the pandemic slowing down, the Oxford researchers say they know the pressure is on to create an effective vaccine as quickly and as safely as possible. We feel that there's urgency and pressure really every day. So people are working day and night, they're working weekends, and we're not going to stop till we get an answer. Now, David, most experts believe the vaccine could be ready by the end of the year, early 2021. But we have to remember it's first going to be made available to the most vulnerable in our population, widely available to all Americans, possibly as early as the spring. David. All right, Tom Yamas leading us off tonight. Tom, thank you. Of course. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.